What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about PHP versus Python. Which language should you learn? If you're new to web development or if you're trying to choose between PHP or Python, in this video I'll share with you when and where you should use either language. The debate about PHP and Python is never ending. And this is due to the fact that both languages are very powerful and popular programming languages. First, why should you learn a server-side programming language? Well, backend development is one of the most sought after skills in today's marketplace. Virtually all businesses need websites that connect to a server on the backend. Therefore, backend developers are high in demand and companies are willing to throw large sums of money to developers who can effectively manage the backend well. Okay. So so what is Python? Python is an interpreted object oriented high level programming language with dynamic semantics. It's high level built in data structures combined with dynamic typing and dynamic binding make it very attractive for rapid application development as well as for use as a scripting or glue language to connect existing components together. Let's try that in plain English. Python is a general purpose programming language that you could use to create programs for your computer or for web development. It's a very versatile language. It's also very popular for machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science. Now, what is PHP? PHP is a widely used open source general purpose scripting language that is especially suited for web development and can be embedded into HTML. Its main use case is as a backend language. Now, what about market share? PHP is the most widely used server-side coding language used for websites. It hovers around 80% market share. On the other hand, Python is a general purpose programming language that a lot of people use for machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science. But a smaller percentage use it for web development itself. Now, what about the learning curve? How hard is it to learn one or the other, PHP or Python? The good thing is that both PHP and Python are very easy languages to learn, easy being a relative term. There are countless tutorials online on how to code either PHP or Python. Now, one thing you can hear often is developers saying that Python is an easier language to learn because of the code formatting. Python is very strict on how you format your code, and this in turn makes it very easy to read and maintain. On the other hand, PHP does not have strict code formatting like Python does. So you're going to find there's a lot of different ways to format PHP code. And you're also going to find that there's a lot of PHP code that's not formatted well at all. And that's what makes it sometimes harder to read or to understand. But there's a simple workaround to that. You could always format your PHP code to your liking. In the next video, I'll show you how you can format your code for easier readability. I'll show you how I like to format my code. Now, most universities like to use Python when demonstrating how to code. That being said, both languages have a lot of resources like websites that'll teach you how to code, boot camps, YouTube videos, and you can even buy books. I know it seems kind of old school to buy books, but I actually have a large library of books on how to code. You're also gonna be able to find a lot of code examples online. Quick note, be careful with code that you copy and paste. Make sure to develop locally. Reverse engineer the code if you can and test thoroughly before using on a production website. A couple of things you're gonna to wanna to be careful with is outdated code, inefficient code, and insecure code. So remember, test locally. Now, what about documentation? Both PHP and Python have great documentation pages online. There you'll see how you can get started with the language, you'll learn about the syntax, code flow, you'll see some code examples, and more. Combining the documentation pages with your other online tutorials will help you learn how to code either language really fast. What about community support? Both PHP and Python have large and very passionate communities. So even if you're learning by yourself, there's always somewhere online that you can go to for help. You're not alone. You can check out Stack Overflow, which is very popular with developers, amongst a lot of other online forums. Okay, so what about speed? PHP 7 has seen a lot of improvements that makes it blazing fast. Python code is fast as well, but typically not as fast as PHP. That being said, there's a lot of factors that go into the speed of a website or a web app, such as code logic, hardware resources, and more. That's beyond the scope of this video, but let me know if you want me to create a video that talks more about what impacts the performance of a website. Now, when developing with PHP or Python or any language for that matter, you can always use vanilla code, meaning your custom code, but you could cut back significantly on development time by using pre-existing frameworks, libraries, and CMSs. 
Time is money. For PHP, you have Laravel, Symfony, CodeIgniter, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, amongst others. For Python, you have the Django, the Django CMS, Flask, Web2Py, Pylons, Pyramid, and others as well. There's lots of options to getting work done faster than writing all the code by yourself. Now, what about package managers? Package managers are designed to eliminate the need for manual installs and updates. They are vital to a productive workflow. For Python, you have PIP, and for PHP, you have Composer. And what about deployment and hosting? PHP comes pre-installed on virtually all shared hosting servers and accounts, and it's easy to install on a VPS or dedicated server. Python, on the other hand, will take a little bit more work to get started with, and I recommend using either DigitalOcean or Linode, which have great documentation pages on how to get started with Python on their VPSs. Now, a major factor that a lot of coders consider is where's the money? Skilled Python developers tend to make more than skilled PHP developers. The reason is Python is used again for machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science. These are fields that have a lot of money behind them, but they are also much more complex fields. PHP developers can make a great living working either for large companies, for agencies, or as a freelancer. Some PHP developers who focus on a particular framework or a particular CMS can make a great amount of money depending on how they market their services. Typically, a skilled Python developer can make north of $100,000, while a skilled PHP developer can make north of about $80,000 plus. That being said, there's really no limit to how much money you can make with either language. It's all about what you end up doing with that language. Think Mark Zuckerberg. When he created Facebook, he used PHP. He's now worth over $70 billion. Also think about Larry Page, who's worth about $51 billion, and Sergey Brin, who's worth about $50 billion, who both created the Google search engine, which is powered by Python, amongst other languages as well. In essence, you can make no money, you can be a struggling coder, you can make a decent wage, you can make a good amount of money, and the sky's the limit. Again, it all depends what you're doing with the language you use. Now, this reminds me of the song by Bruno Mars, Billionaire. Everybody wants to be a billionaire. So which language should you learn or use? The answer to that is actually very simple, maybe a little too simplistic. If you want to focus on machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science, then Python is the language to learn. If you want to focus on creating dynamic websites, then PHP is the language you should learn. It also depends on where you want to work. Companies are all over the map in terms of what languages they like to use. Most companies do use various programming languages for different purposes. It's like hiring contractors to work on your home. When the contractors come over, do they just come with a hammer? No, always use the right tool for the job. Newer startups who are working with machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science will often favor Python. While with web design agencies, if they're working with a CMS like WordPress, then PHP reigns supreme. So that's it. PHP and Python are both great programming languages. Try them both out for a short amount of time and see which one you prefer. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification icon, leave your comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.